<laughs> yeah, same. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome. Yeah. You just watch a great run by Vpop for the second most eight Prince of Persia game, I guess. <laughs> like people eight to K eight, but uh, the first is probably TFS Wii. Now we get to see a better game. <laughs> I like to Yeah, play. I'm not sure about that. You know, this is a no glitch allowed marathon, but this game is a glitch. Yeah, it's this whole game is a glitch, so it's kind of hard to avoid, but we'll do our best. Yeah. All right, so I guess we can start whenever. Okay, so we will do two countdown. The first one is just for us, but uh, there is like a little offset at the start because there is a one minute cutscene. So don't, don't be scared. Don't stay in the main menu too long. You'll soft lock. <laughs> uh, you can just press cancel and you don't soft lock. Oh, I didn't know that. Cool. Okay, learn, learn yeah. new things already. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so do you want to go for uh, countdown when you're ready? Uh, okay, so... Seven? Six? <laughs> no. Five? <laughs> no? Okay. <laughs> Three, two, one, and go. Okay, game didn't crash. Yay, no crash. Woohoo! We're yeah. in there. There's no audio here because we delete the video folder or rename it, sorry, so we're not cheating. Yeah, basically there is like a three minutes uh, cinematic at the start, and also a lot of things in this game are cinematic, so we deleted them. Uh, the game is more stable that way, and uh, we don't have to wait four minutes before starting a run. Yeah, the, the actual like reason is so because it makes loads. Uh, like death loads consistent between PCs, so it ma yeah. it makes it fair. That's like the real reason for it. Exactly. And it's only the pre-rendered cutscene. Any like actual so, game cutscene is in the description. Yeah, there is like five seconds before the start of the timer. Okay, so, so three, two, one, one. go. Right. Well, I won't say good luck to you, but uh, do your best. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I already made a mistake. <laughs> Alright, I'm ahead! I, did, I didn't, didn't die but lost like a second, so you're ahead probably. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. This is Dagger. And uh, it's a nightmare. Yeah. But, you know, it's, it's pretty hype. <laughs> you know, it's mainly just little skips. Yeah, except that one that yeah. I'm going for right now. Yeah, this is like the only like weird looking skip. All the fish that are skip. Seriously, I got it a lot of time in a row just before. And now I had to set it up again, so I lost 8 seconds to I it. I just got it first try. World record pace. <laughs> 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 yeah, that skip's getting the first dagger. Which is not only faster, but it makes doing this section much easier because you don't have the dagger so you don't like auto target towards enemies yeah this game is uh auto target system is good and bad <laughs> yeah you will hear us complain a lot about it but sometimes it's you it's uh, useful like for that one skip in the entire run that's in this section no. <laughs> no way into the city now. But no, there's other sections where it makes use. The only time we like use an auto target towards an enemy is in this section. But yeah, like right there, those enemies. If you have the dagger, then like you move slowly. So like it's easier. Yeah, basically when you have your weapon out, it's uh, faster to just roll because the prince walk really slowly. Yeah, the fastest form of movement is side rolling, which you can only do with the weapon. And the next best way would just be to chain rolls over and over again, which is why I just roll everywhere. So even if we don't have a primary weapon, we can still hit some enemies by doing a secondary attack out of the wall. 
even if we don't have a primary or a secondary, it's working. But uh, if we die at one or two points, like here, like if I die here, good thing I didn't, uh, I would have respawned with my dagger. But it's not everywhere, it's only at two fountains. Because in this game, there is fountain that lets you save, and they also work as a checkpoint. Yeah, we would have, we do have to get the dagger at some point, but it's faster to get it at a later checkpoint. Yeah, by like less than a second. But yeah, yeah, it's only faster because like the checkpoint moves you ahead a little bit, so you save a tiny bit of movement. Oh, now I got hit by the enemy. That can be bad, but... Oh. <laughs> the thing I just did there with the first person camera, it was just to cancel the stagger that the prince lands in. So I just call it like a first person cancel. Uh, it's working in uh, all the trilogy games. Yeah. It looks really weird in this game because the camera flips like 180 degrees for a couple frames. So, dagger, like the first split of this game is basically uh, until you get the dagger all time so we can uh, return time. Right now, if we made a mistake, we just die. And uh, it's a really difficult segment. So difficult that we have a world record for it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think I have like a 835 and you, are, you have like a 837. And that's but I really think my is 836. Oh yeah, man, uh, you know, we are less than a second away, so yeah. that's been a lot. That, uh, that weird jump I did off the wall, I don't think we mentioned that earlier, but it's called a safety fall. And it allows you to jump from, high, like it allows you to survive higher falls. So, it's used like throughout the whole run, very useful. Yeah, it's like reset your falling points. Yeah. Oh my god, it didn't attack, okay. It's just like oh. a regular attack. Oh no, okay, I have to. Oh, okay. I died. I got it. Oh. That sucks. I didn't fail the jump, I didn't get to do it because the enemy started attacking. Oh yeah, that can happen. That just sucks. Yeah. So, here I just die on purpose. If the prince wants to fall down, okay. Just to get back uh, my primary weapon, because there is some dagger panel in the next room. Okay, that was uh, stupid. There oh is some dagger God. panel, and if you don't have a, a weapon, the game just crash. So that archer hit me. It's okay, as long as the second one doesn't hit me, should be good. Yeah. So I just go there. Wait one second. So. Manipulating Archer is a big deal of this run because they are just uh, the worst thing ever. Like they can just uh, shoot you through walls and stuff like that and uh, make you fall down for no reason. So safety fall here. Yeah. So it just resets your falling point. Like that's, uh, that's a movement tech in the game and it does that so we are using it. And uh, it makes the run really interesting. Like, uh, I was running this category before we found Safety Fall, and it was boring. Yeah, like, Safety Fall makes this run way more interesting. Yeah, you're like, yeah, way, you're like way ahead of me now, because I died twice. <laughs> oh, yeah. And we can also use it like this to target that enemy and go onto that balcony earlier. It saved like 15 seconds or so. Like, uh, two years ago, Having a sub-10 dagger was, uh, was a big deal, like just barely a sub-10, like a 950 or so. And now we are like getting 830, just due to small improvement there and there. The, be the, we, the best yeah. possible is probably like 820, because, yeah. of, because of a skip at the end game that we don't do. 
Yeah, we don't do it because it's uh, no. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> like, like it's really, really, really hard. Like I got it for try yeah. uh, four, four times in. There's, there's actually there's actually two different ways of doing it, and both ways are impossible. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, but something that will be useful in a segmented run, but right now it's not doable RTA, yeah. like in a second segment. So since you died twice, I will go for uh, the archer skip in uh, Tron Room. <laughs> but well, that's I, easy. I, I yeah, but I wasn't planning on doing it, you know? Oh really? Okay. Well, yeah. I mean, I li uh, just... I've literally done that every run since I started doing this. <laughs> it's just my default <laughs> way to do that area. Yeah, but you're crazy. You should go, you <laughs> should go for Throne Room skip is what you should do. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and I got a quick kill. Okay. Oh, well, nice. never mind. <laughs> Alright, time save, type. Go. So, no, normally I shouldn't have got a quick kill, but uh, it's okay. So, now we just wait for that one to move. It's so slow. Two. Yeah, like you need uh, to do that room with like pretty good movement. And you can just jump on the panel right away. Yeah, hopefully by new will be able to show it to you. I'll definitely be able to show it off because it's easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you mentioned this, but this this switch has a cutscene that you skip by just re-grabbing it. Oh yeah, no, yeah. totally didn't mention that. It's like the only spot in the entire game that behaves that way. Yeah, you, you you can grab it like at other place, but uh, it doesn't skip the cutscene, unfortunately. Yeah, really weird. So right now I have the dagger of time, which is my new primary weapon, and so I can go back in time. As you can see on the top left corner of my screen, I have like three uh, yellow things, which are my sand, and uh, so that means I can rewind time. Three times. Uh, the blue thing is my elf, my HP. Because oh I can no! Oh, you gotta be kidding me! <laughs> Did you fail it? <laughs> I mean, I got past the archer. I didn't get a speed kill, but he shot me at the end, which can happen. Huh. Man, that sucks. Yeah. That's so much. So, that's so much time loss in dagger. Yeah. Yeah. That trap was sponsored by Ubisoft. You can go past through it, like in the first cycle of it only, and in that uh, correct uh, place, that's a nice drop. So you will be getting the 11 dagger I was supposed to get. Not quite 11. Uh, probably 10 something. And 1036, which is still horrible, but whatever. It was as if he had that's like, I that's bet. just literally how Dagger is. Yeah. Perhaps and uh, as we said before, like, Vainir is uh, really good at Dagger, like, uh, he got a 836, he can go lower than this. Despite, despite this run, I am pretty good at it. <laughs> like, on, a yeah. on average. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just uh, a reminder, like, I got the 855 Dagger, which is, uh, well, I would have reset honestly, but uh, it's uh, good for a marathon. But in April, I run I run this game at um, at a marathon, and I got a ten something dagger as well. So you know, it just uh, just how cruel or bad this uh, segment can be. Yeah. You can spend four hours grinding it without getting a single one. Uh, fun fact here: you can jump oh, no. to this curtain. But it's ridic <laughs> it's ridiculously precise. <laughs> yeah, so no one is going for it. Yeah. And no one should. Normally in places when you can jump instead of wall run, it's pretty easy. But there it's like almost impossible. Alright, so here I'm side rolling because uh, this is the fastest movement in the game, by far. Uh, Unfortunately, it's not like uh, in Wire Within, 
in Warrior Within, so which is the second game of the trilogy, uh, you can uh, get two traps while start rolling. You still take damage, but there is no uh, uh, animation when you take damage, so it's really fast. But in this game, it doesn't work, and it's unfortunate. That, that jump I did down there, where I just jumped the wrong way, that wasn't really my fault, it's kind of the game. <laughs> the game has a really bad habit of like storing your direction, so even though it's holding the right direction, it can sometimes go in a different direction. So, shout out to Ubisoft. <laughs> yeah. Also, in this run, like, the start is pretty intense, but from now on, there will be a lot of cutscenes. Like for example, here there was a one minute cutscene, so it will soon be over and the prince is uh, already stripped down. Like he already stripped down. So now you can see all of his uh, muscle. Yeah, that's a 2005 game, so that's explain why it's uh, not that great, but you know. Yeah. In the any percent, you skip that. You actually do the whole run with this cloth costume still on. Yeah, so any percent with uh, uh, zips, like not yeah. uh, any percent energy. Yeah, like the true any percent. Yeah. After trending, we have true any percent now. <laughs> so. This run is a lot of small skip, like for example here, yeah, I should have go to the left part, like you were able to see some dagger panel and all, but uh, we don't do this, we can just make it like this, and uh, since uh, this cycle is almost impossible to make, <laughs> I can take my time. I, I, hope uh, to, I hope to prove you wrong on that in a second. Well, I said almost because of you. <laughs> Like, I have to wait here. Uh, until two days ago, it was impossible. But then he was like, eh, no, let's, yeah. let, let's find something. You have to be like perfect movement. I'm gonna go for it. I have to go for it now to catch up. How else am I gonna win? <laughs> well, there is still like some one minute skip that I can say. Yeah, it's true. Wake up. So, right now, I'm becoming the Dark Prince. Uh, we will talk about the story later. So I'm losing my secondary if I have one, if I add one to get uh, this chain that can open doors and uh, I can use it like this as well. Now there is like the two worst enemy of this run. This is a huge reset point. Like I can control their behavior and sometimes they just block you too much. They were really nice, so I won't complain. Like, if I could behave like this every time... <laughs> wow. World record would be a lot lower. Yeah, so I'm gonna try to do this cycle. So, to make this cycle, you need to do this whole trick here. Which is just like, you slide from further back and you can like, skip a pole. Just like that. And you have to use first person cancels to skip the staggers. And then you have to do this jump, which is like the hardest part. And. Ah, oh, I was close. Alright. Just gonna abandon trying to do it. Yeah, you need to jump directly to that slide. And you can just barely make the cycle, but it's really hard. Mainly because of that slide jump. Uh, go left, go left, go left. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Okay, so here I have to go left because this category is called all powers. So the difference with any percent is that we will get every life upgrade and also every sun get. Because sun get give us a uh, more sun tanks and uh, more power and life upgrade well uh, they just upgrade your life <laughs> like uh, you will see uh, just pay attention to my air to my hp like it's half uh, feel 
and after this life upgrade, which is like a, just a trap corridor, and that one is really easy. I can just jump, always. Hop. You can see like I just got a little more HP. There's yeah, some fan gates actually don't give you powers, but <laughs> it would be oh, yeah, but it, it would be dumb to like have a category that only gets like some fan gates, so the category just became getting all the fan gates. And, yeah, like, true. They also upgrades. give you uh, sun credits. Yeah. Which are like um, uh, a money for the uh, for this game when you can buy artworks and stuff like that. Yeah. And it's not useful at all. <laughs> well, I mean, artwork is cool. <laughs> yeah, but uh, you can just access them like uh, on the games folder. Um, I'm pretty sure that's a glitch. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I can make that cycle. Oh, I did. Yeah, that dagger right. panel cycle you can just make. So for this archer, I just uh, throw one out of uh, onto the other, and they shouldn't hit me in theory. Like uh, in NMG, you have to uh, have a strat for each archer. That's how crazy they are. Yeah. We didn't really go over that in dagger, but we have strats for every archer there too. Yeah. Which that actually failed me as well. My side rolls, I got hit. <laughs> so, since there is like a one minute cutscene as well here, uh, I just remind you that uh, we're here for Go Rescue, which uh, help um, homeless dogs. So, don't hesitate to donate. Every um, dollar can make a difference. So. Wow, okay. Usually the cycle's just perfect and not get hit there, but I still got hit. It was actually kind of weird. Oh yeah, that's because you were too fast. Like I'm waiting half a second. Okay, you, I like yeah. never, I like never wait. That's why I thought I could go. But... Well, congratulations! I, I, you just I guess, got really I guess fast. I was just, yeah, I guess I was just consistently <laughs> slow until this time. <laughs> Yeah, uh, put, please donate because we need we need something to do during the chariot. <laughs> so this is a sun gate. So basically, I just kill every guard on it, and I have to get the uh, secondary before stuff. Okay. Yeah, you don't want to let the red dude get to the gate. Yeah. Dead. So yeah, if the red guard goes to the gate, he will call reinforcement, and uh, it will be really slow to kill them all. So that's why I killed him first. Yeah, like the whole strats around the fan gates is always like to kill the red guard first, and use secondaries to get good amounts of damage. Usually, unless you don't, you can't get a secondary for it, which a couple you don't. Like this one, there's no like good spot. You could pick up one, but it's just better to get the one that's down here. So yeah, we attempt something uh, quite of precise, I guess. Uh, it's not that hard, but uh, we'll see. And I almost trigger it. So uh, basically, <laughs> I... yes, it is. <laughs> so basically, uh, by jumping onto the ledge. You don't become the Dark Prince. Becoming the Dark Prince is slow because there is a cutscene every time you become Dark Prince and every time you go back to normal Prince. Also, your uh, safety for uh, method is so good. Nice, you used it. Proud. Yeah. A Razor was always safety falling on the other wall there, so he would do extra movement. I will not let the Vizier have Babylon. <laughs> yeah. So now I'm on the chariot. Just before I will release the devil, which is like the worst person in the game and in uh, Prince of Persia in general. But uh, we will talk about uh, this person later. Spoiler, it's Farah. And uh, yeah, chariot is basically an auto scroller. 
like uh, you just have to go left and right and mash the attack button when there is an enemy near you. Not an enemy on a chariot like this, but just an enemy like uh, climbing onto your ch uh, chariot. So yeah, basically I'm uh, I'm just doing another scroller, so watch my knee and... Uh, Hopefully with greater success. Uh, the donkey, yeah. No, fair is an actual person. <laughs> you mean the donkey? Uh, if she could be a donkey in this game, that would be great, honestly. So yeah, here I'm just mashing the attack button, like it's not even... You don't even have to time it. It's just free, you know? Oh, also something I didn't mention, like uh, you can see on the top uh, left corner, now I have a secondary, and uh, my secondary have some HP, I would say, like it's uh, is uh, durability, and every time I'm using it, it lowers. So when I did, it's break. I did the Dark Friend skip and actually did it like at a really precise spot, and I didn't get the enemies, so that's really nice. But you, n you never actually like go for that because it's just not worth trying to set up. But yeah, you get it, it's pretty nice because I don't need to kill the archer there. Oh, yeah, I'm watching in the stream right now. Good. Are you, sure you, can control <laughs> you know, with the delay and everything. Yeah. Yeah, I'm currently ahead, uh, so I buy, uh, I would say, a minute 30. Here. Old chariot ahead of me. Yeah. <laughs> Find a way to skip the chariot NMG. Easy. Well, it's not even worth it with a <laughs> glitch, like with this, so... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like these chariot sections are done in every single category of the game. It's like, even though technically you like could skip them, but like, it's way slower to skip them. Seriously, I'm feeling this. Wow. Wow, just wow. It is a nice time to like just take a breather. Yeah, in this game there is, as I said, yeah. like a lot of cutscene and stuff like that. Not as big of a breather as like a cutscene, but it's like close to it. Yeah. Like, once you've done it like well, 10 Chris. times, no, I'm sure pretty not. easy. And and especially since Fortress is a really hard, hard section to do fast, so... Yeah. Even if it doesn't seem like it, trust me, it's really hard and uh, I, I reset most of the time there in uh, any percent attempt. So here I'm coming onto the That's second sun gate. I didn't do the good strat, but uh, never mind. I got a gold, so it's okay, I guess. Nice. I got a gold too on the earlier. Bright and vibrant of Babylon uh, now uh, yeah, this category is uh, not well optimized, I would say. Like, I, I wouldn't say unoptimized, but uh, it's closer to unoptimized. Yeah, like the, the, the route itself is pretty like optimized, I think, but like just the runs so that we have so far are. Yeah, compared to any percent NMG, no, it's uh... Yeah. Like, I relatively recently rerouted the sand gates to use secondaries. Yeah. And uh, also, there was two new skips found uh, yeah. at the start of the year by Vainir, but saved like two minutes in total I would say I, probably a little less because you have to set up like the first um, cutscene skip but yeah yeah like if you do it the way I'm gonna try and do it for the first cutscene skip it saves like close to like 40 seconds 45 yeah but uh, since uh, he found this way like uh, a little earlier and never show me <laughs> I call cheating and uh, if I'm losing it's because of this it's not Just even say. it's not even better than your way really. I'm, I'm pretty confident your way is more consistent. My way is just so I don't have to kill the first archer. I'm getting hit. Yeah, so these like secondary strats like we do these combos on the enemies 
So it's just like the fastest way to kill them. Yeah, uh, what do I need when he does that? Big... Just failed. Well, okay, well, <laughs> I was gonna say that I failed them, so you know, I didn't talk about them because I totally forgot to. Yeah. Eat, yeah, uh, but yeah, if it's like a, if it's a regular guard, you just do like one dagger attack and then the combo, and if it's a red guard, you just do two dagger attacks. And we're also animation canceling, like every attack to make them faster. Like when you do an attack, you can press block immediately after. And it cancels like the recovery animation. Dude, no it at the two archer. Oh nice. <laughs> First time. It's because I watched you like uh, yesterday or the oh, day yeah. before I can tell that. I gotta take this risky now and don't wait. <laughs> I have sand, so onward and upward. Hurry to the palace and reclaim your yeah, I was waiting for the archer to hit me, but he didn't, unfortunately. Uh, there is a life of good there. I have to not forget it. This is the shortest Dark Prince section. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> and the easiest? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty easy. Oh, I should have uh, rolled on server. And that jump between the walls at the end to save like half a second is the best. Okay, so I think it's right. Let's see. I get hit on purpose there, that's my strat for getting through the archers. I don't, I don't actually know what erasers is, but I just like wait there, get hit, and then buffer a wall run. Um, oh yeah, I also got, uh, get it, but uh, we are not doing exactly the same thing. Okay. Like I'm coming the other way. Uh, oh yeah, right. You like you drop down on the other side. Who is yeah. there? You have done me a so service. this life of great is also really easy. Thank you. I just have to do this, Very strange. and basically I have to wait here. Up. No. So I don't have to take any risk before. I've been curious if uh, you can make that cycle, but I think that you can't. Uh, that's I never. I never was able to, so uh, I won't say it's impossible, but uh, at the most it's really hard. I guess that we need like optimization that we haven't found yet in this life of great. I'll find it after this run. <laughs> <laughs> I got hit twice at the archers. That's RNG for you. Yeah, like for this archer. In theory, you will need uh, slow mo, but we don't have slow mo yet. So, you know. Uh, good game. Yeah. So, I'm approaching the first boss, to, uh, first boss of the game, which is Klompa. It's uh, not a really hard boss, but uh, there is a cutscene skip. That I will try to do right now. Like this. So yeah, I'm just coming from the from the top of the level to avoid a, a cutscene. And uh, Krompa HP just disappeared. What is this? Okay. His HP disappeared. Yeah. Just. Up, it's not a soft lock. I can still uh, hit him, but yeah. I saw you hit the trigger at the start, so should yeah, be yeah. fine. Yeah. Okay, it's good now. There's a load trigger that you need to hit when you fall down there. You can actually skip it, and then when you finish the boss, the next area will just not be loaded. I discovered that the hard way. <laughs> yeah. So basically, Klumpa is ugly. So we just uh, stab his eye so he can see himself in a mirror or something. And uh, now that we uh, stab his two eyes, we can just uh, eat his leg. Because, you know, it's fun, I guess. Like, uh, it just helps him exercise. So we do two charge attack, one small attack, 
and another charge attack right there. I don't charge attack too early or else like this, the hit won't be, won't work. That's good. Uh, quality runner, I guess. So I charge attack a little too early, so that's why this happened, unfortunately. So that was a bad Krompa uh, fight because of this, but uh, never mind. Also something we didn't mention, uh, when we are becoming the Dark Prince or back to normal Prince, we, al we always have uh, ma max HP, or max HP. But uh, as the Dark Prince, we are losing our HP like uh, every, uh, well I would say every second or so. And uh, we have to take sense. To refill uh, our HP. Yeah, I never thought to mention it before because I don't think we ever need to take sands in those sections, but coming up you do. This next section, like the one you're in now, you still don't if you go yeah, I don't. fast. Yeah. But since I took it at, uh, during Chrome Pass, I was like, eh, let's talk about that now. Like, oh. uh, yeah, in this section, if you do everything correctly, you don't need to take one as well. Uh, it's also disappointing with this category because since we get more health, you would think you could take like other routes with the Dark Prince. But uh, the health actually like like goes down faster when you have more health, so it ends up being the yeah. same amount of time. Yeah, I think it's maybe like two seconds slow, um, two seconds slower or so, but that's it. Like uh, if you take one life upgrade or the sixth, it doesn't change anything. Just have like a small amount and uh, that's it. I got an interesting. Prince decided to auto target the wrong foot, so this fight is kind of messed up, but I recovered pretty nicely. So thanks for the good luck, uh, Ness. Did you get any frame perfect quick kills <laughs> or quick uh, quick time events? Uh, no, I didn't yeah. uh, go for it on, in this one. Yeah, if you hit the like the command frame perfectly, then you don't see like a flash of light. Yeah. It's kind of stupid to try to go for that. Yeah. I'm pretty good at it. Like at Krompa, usually I, I I can get like two of them. But, uh, yeah. Like, I wasn't feeling like it. Uh, oh, you know. It's a marathon run. I'm I'm taking stupid risk, but not Please every stupid risk, I guess. Embarrassed by the unwanted attention. Fearful that they might so I messed up a jump back there, so I do need to get sand here. Because the cycle for this is pretty tight, so if you make, like, any mistake, you need to get some sand. Yeah. So coming up is a um, is a sun get we also take in any percent because it's mandatory. Uh, almost a good jump. So as we said before, I'm always going to kill the red guard first. And then I can kill uh, I can kill the other guys. Come on, okay, good. And I will get uh, the Red Guard Sword, but uh, that's only me, Vainib doesn't do it. Because that just gives me infinite sense. Like, I will use one here, for a slow-mo. So I'm done the 3 cents, and now I'm already up to 4 again. And uh, it's it's useful for some skip and uh, avoiding some enemies, but Vainiv just prefer going uh, Euro. Yeah, like I'm pretty sure it's faster not to get it, and like, but if you make some mistakes and have to use some sand, then you need to get up back, get some backups. So then it would be slower. So getting the sword is just like safety strat. Ah. Just saw your strat for getting around those enemies with slow mo. I might use that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's really good. What I was doing is vaulting over an enemy. Yeah, I didn't like to vault, so 
So here some serious time. I'm trying to skip uh, one minute cutscene. And it's really precise. And first try. Oh man. <laughs> I missed that now, I'm gonna be so far behind. <laughs> yeah. So basically there was a one minute cutscene and uh, with some precise movement I was able to war run around it. Can you stop playing so good? <laughs> I'm sorry, but <laughs> that's not my fault. There you might think that the sand guard would activate the gate, but it takes like a while for the gate to actually activate. Even though his sword stabbed it, you can still kill him in time. Yeah, as long like there isn't like uh, a weird uh, cycle thing around the sand gate, it's uh, it's okay. Yeah. Like, uh, you have the time. Yeah. Okay, that didn't work. I got stuck by the enemy. So this run, well, this game in general is the most. Um, mm, how do you say like uh, hated one? Yeah. The most hated one, like in the same trilogy for speedrunning, because as you are able to see, basically me and Vaini are runner of the, on the same level, but just due to some unfortunate, um, unfortunate like games thing, you're just uh, you're just so far behind, and there is nothing uh, we can do about that. Hopefully I can get this skip though, so I don't get further behind. Yeah. Oh wow, okay. Ah. But... Ah, I didn't get it. Oh, rip. Little bit too late on the wall run release. There we go again. I took it! Oh yeah, and you don't have too many cents, right? He murdered my father. I mean, I, I hit the cutscene, so that's why I failed Ah, oh, you hit the cutscene? Yeah. Okay. Like, I was a on the release, so I hit it, yeah. Yeah, so you got to I. Yeah. So, you were able to see how precise it is. Like, the first time I released a little bit too early, so I didn't land on the little yeah. uh, ledge, and the second time I was too late, so I just hit the cutscene. Yeah, oh, well. I just saw that, like, in the, in the stream. Perhaps we should journey together. Perhaps. So slow mo is really powerful. Here there is some enemy, I grow tired and I will just test. delay them approaching me, so she I can skip this wall area way. by doing I some wall jump here. Why do you, do we need to use slow mo? Because as we said before, uh, this game has an auto target system, and uh, you can do a jump out of a wall or a pillar or something if the prince uh, auto target uh, this uh, an enemy. Speaking of slow mo, I killed that enemy, so I could have slow mo there. Because oh, ar yeah. the archer that I didn't kill before could actually just kill me. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, you didn't die. Okay. One time I got sniped four times in a row and I died because I didn't pick up the red guard sword. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the archers are just like, ugh. Uh, also, working on ledges are, uh, is uh, really slow, so that's why I'm jumping uh, every time I can. Basically, we want to avoid uh, jumping on ledges as much as we can. So, I'm gonna go for this jump that saves like maybe half a second. First try. <laughs> it's uh, 0 0.2 actually. <laughs> really? You actually timed it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I just gained. Or did you do it? I assumed you didn't. No. Alright, cool. I don't do it. I just gained 0.2 seconds. <laughs> the pressure and desperation that once drove him gone. Oh, come on, game! Him the same fate that is now hope. Hope that peace could be restored to the land and okay, pure church repaired. But the vizier. Come on. What is that thing? 
Yeah, now I'm having to pick up backup sand because I decided I don't get the red guard sword and I did make some mistakes. So, gotta get some backup sand. Mainly for slow mo. Or actually, only for slow mo. Okay, my fight is going horribly wrong. Good, let me catch up. Perhaps we should surrender. Or turn away and leave the city. I know a lovely little island ah. just a few weeks journey from here. I'm sure by the time uh, so I didn't save much much time unfortunately. If it comforts you to mock me then by all means continue. But you are so focused on killing him you've thrown strategy completely out the window. Yeah, the fights like the, the guards for the fights are always the same like but amount of damage to, to kill them until like closer to the it's end where you get some like heavy guards. So the strat for killing them won't change until then. For now, it's just always using those combos. Yeah, and since uh, the Red Guard Sword is less powerful than, uh, than the usual uh, secondary we have, uh, I had to, to do more combo, but uh, I didn't do it, yeah. so it's my fault. Yeah, I do a different strat there since I don't have a secondary. I pick one up there. And the, the secondaries from, from enemies are actually less powerful than the ones from the container so like you never you never get a secondary from an enemy because it's actually really really poor damage okay. also i will talk about the skip i just did but good thing i will do it again oh yeah Best uh, skip. there is like not really a puzzle but a lot of lever to move where farah is also moving and uh, stuff like that so you get a lot of cutting and uh, also some dogs and even if we're here for the dogs we don't like dogs in this game unfortunately you know, I've been and uh, yeah by just it. doing a really Has precise wall run we can just uh, bypass all of this he's immortal now so that's good the dagger made him into what he is it can unmake him i suppose we will know the truth of this soon enough <laughs> I can I can miss cuts and drop and still be ahead of my uh, of my PB. No, bad. <laughs> so coming up is uh, what I think is the hardest starting section of the game because the sand management here is uh, pretty tricky. You can lose a lot of time pretty easily. And there is one thing when the game is totally bullshit and uh, just uh, makes you fall down for no reason and sometimes it can happen multiple times in a row and you just die and game over. Good thing uh, we can uh, go back in time otherwise that would be just uh, impossible. Only. I almost forgot to get sand there for slow-mo that would have been bad but it's cool. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think I do a strat there that you don't do. I'd use the 360 beam, which is yeah, and I don't. which is considered a minor glitch. So it just like allows you to angle your jump off of beams. But uh, you can also get it without wanting to as well. So yeah, no. and like there's a there's a, a spot at the end game where you do it when it's not even like on the edge of a beam like you just do it as you're turning on a normal beam so like it's not it's just a regular you can jump angled at the edge of beams try using these levers if i can reach the other side i might yeah basically like the 360 beam is uh, like for example when i was in that section even if i'm not going for this threat i got one doing the normal way so yeah. it's pretty hard to avoid it completely like the spot that I use it in the end game, I think is a really easy way to see how it's not an actual like glitch. I'll point it out when we get to it. It's not until like literally the end game. Come on. Yeah. Like, see what I was t uh, telling you about losing time. I just lost ten seconds for nothing, just because of that dog spawning while the enemy hit me for no reason. And no. Okay, I didn't fall down. Like uh, on that second statue, you can just fall down, and uh, that's the stupid spot I talked about earlier. Oh yeah, that. Hmm. And I just saw that someone was new on the chat, so hi. Sorry, I can't uh, see your name right now. 
I will watch it soon. Yeah. So, SRD Jan. Okay, your name is really hard to pronounce for me, so sorry. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know how like, you uh, would pronounce that. <laughs> Side rolls oh, going downhill aren't really faster, by the way, but I did them there anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, I did a, a non get what run out of a bot. Oh, yeah, you still do that strat? That's, yeah. a, that's old OG strat. <laughs> OG, but better. <laughs> no. Like, uh, yeah. It's... No, I know that I can get it even if I fail it at the start, so it's okay. Wow, well, I lost a lot of time on that street. Yeah, honestly, like, I could go for that because it is, like, pretty easy. But I just prefer to do the other way because I don't need to worry about the pot breaking. So, yeah. When I was telling you that I lost time, I literally lost 10 seconds on PB. Just because of the enemies. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, bad. you can see it like this, I only lost 10 seconds. <laughs> the jump is dumb sometimes. It's not a hard jump, but if you're too close to the torch there, then you just don't make it. So yeah, we are doing a lot of small skips that save like 2-3 seconds, but we can't really save them all. Like, for example, when I grab the bar right there, it was a, a little skip. Like, it, it wasn't the intin uh, intended way. Yeah, my English sucks, I, um, I apologize. Oh, did we not mention that? Yeah, when we drink from fountains, you can go in first person before you drink and then it just skips like the drink animation yeah it's just like another first person cancel type thing yeah basically it's like uh, during your um, during the first person it's like the game doesn't can play another animation it's like it just resets your animation to, uh, to stand it, standing uh, still which will be actually like uh, normal like uh, program programming wise that will be normal yeah this is the alternate strat here I mentioned earlier there's like a tiny bit of section here where you're not considered in the water so you can actually just wall run up normal and then jump the wrong direction this game is bad sometimes <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, just just because you're not like you're you're actually like a little bit out of the water, you don't get like the water animation when you try and wall run. I fear we have underestimated our opponent. Let us not make the same mistake. So coming up is a uh, a skip, like it's in one minute something. But I will start talking about it uh, about it now. It's called catch and drop. It saves a minute. Well, almost a minute. Basically, in this game, you don't take fall damage during a cutscene. Like oh, it's uh, oh, I died in the life upgrade. <laughs> oh, rip. That's annoying. Oh well. Yeah. So yeah, in this game, you don't take fall damage during cutscene. It's intended. Uh, so yeah, like it's uh, it's coded like this. So the idea will be to start a cutscene and fall down at the same frame or two frames. Like uh, I, I, it's probably two frames. Like uh, doesn't look frame perfect, but uh, definitely close to it. And uh, I just fail this jump for no reason. So yeah. No, what I should have done there is got more sand. But I decided to try it because you can do it with one sand pretty easily. But I guess I mistimed the first jump and the cycles were off. Yeah, I just took it really slowly. Like, uh, I, un 
I undo slow mo like really late. So yeah, I'm setting up for the cutscene drop. Up too early. Uh, I'm not sure. You can tell if you get it because you can hear the yeah. prince fall, but sometimes you just okay. don't hear it. Did you get it? Yeah. Nice. Oops, I didn't spawn the enemy for uh, whatever reason. Oh. So, uh, oh my god, I can see the, <laughs> the losing time already. Are you all right? He has escaped. Come on, come on. And you, what of the troops? Oh my god, the sun get to like 7 seconds to just oh, deactivate. <laughs> it is, he's the yeah, sometimes they take longer to deactivate. I don't really know why. Yeah, I was 1 minute 13 ahead. Now I'm less than a minute ahead. It sucks. Reset, when? <laughs> okay, that killed me. I'm dying a lot in this run. Yeah, I'm hearing that. Yeah, it's pointing. At least I can, you can skip cutscenes if you've already watched them and die after, so at least I don't need to watch that cutscene again. I understand yeah, speed strat to skip cutscenes. Yeah, <laughs> watch them and then die. I'll get a sand here, because apparently I'm playing poorly. So, no, there will be a really long cutscene for me, so enjoy my knees. I'm in a cutscene now too. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> and uh, are you people in the chat? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one thing to point out is you might have noticed with that cutscene I was able to jump off the switch. But, like when you activate the switch, there's like a little delay before the cutscene starts, and that'll be important for a skip later. Thought I'd just point that out. Oh, you also jump out of the switch, like <laughs> yeah, I, it as well. Yeah, <laughs> I always do something there, because <laughs> why not? <laughs> Did you do a moonwalk? The best trick? <laughs> yeah, I failed it. Oh, you failed? I just <laughs> caught it, yeah. Just If you're walking forward and then like quickly tap backwards, you can like do a little moonwalk there. It doesn't really save any time, it just makes it, it makes it easier there to like get through the door in time. You are spending way too much time looking after the girl. It is necessary. Yeah, also in this game, like, it's got no major glitches because, you know, there is a lot of things that could be considered glitching, like this moonwalk, for example. Yeah. It's not intended, I guess. But yeah. it's cool, you know? And uh, you can't really play this game without any glitches occurring, even if you don't want to. Like, uh, we talked about the 360 meme er uh, earlier, but it will happen. Especially at the end, like uh, during the last fight, it will happen. Yeah, it's like, it's a good like yeah. medium to have like a certain number of tricks you can do that makes the run cool. Yeah, like, and uh, if you look at other runs, like the, the amount of glitches that we have is just insane. So like, <laughs> compared to that, this is no no glitches. And I failed cutscene drop. It sucks. I thought I had it actually. I'm gonna just die and try it again. Yeah, it's faster, like, yeah. if you get it. Also, I'm not going for your bullshit trick here. <laughs> what what trick is that? Oh, the, uh, yeah, okay, I know what you're talking about, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll show off all the cool tricks while you play good. <laughs> <laughs> well, run was good. No, it's not good. Like, I lost 20 seconds. <laughs> Oh, I didn't get it again. That's oh, okay. I'm just gonna go this way. You understand that this is the sort of thing that slows us down. Yeah, this is all the stuff it skips. Yeah, it's a really uh, precise trick, as I said. It's yeah. close to frame perfect, probably two frames. Uh, I would put money on it that it's frame perfect, like it's one frame. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was stuck in the door. Okay. But uh, yeah, like it's a really stupid trick, but it saves so much time, you have to go for it. Yeah. It's 
not like uh, the, the last trick I chose to not do Where it was like, uh, I don't know uh, uh, 3 seconds time save So you know, you can afford not going for it But this one, there is just no no way Yeah So there, you might. I did something different with the fight there Because the enemy sort of got the drop on me He was going to hit me So when the backup strat is just You can do a secondary counter attack And that just kills them immediately it's slower to use that all the time because you would you would need to wait for enemies to attack you, but if like they're about to attack you, you can just use that instead. I think it's like the most damaging attack in the whole game. Maybe a yeah. maybe a charged attack does more. Yeah, I did the uh, the previous area at the archer. Let's go. <laughs> oh, nice. That doesn't save time. It just could. But, but it's awesome. <laughs> yeah. That's where you can see our loading and deloading trigger work. So here normally I will do slow mo, but I won't because I have five cents and I want to keep them just for safety. Oh yeah, because in this game, uh, pot will always give you a cent if you have zero or one cent, but uh, won't always give you a cent like if you have more than one cent. Yeah, if you have two or more, there's just like a percent chance of getting one. Are you mad? Yeah. I don't know the actual numbers, but it's pretty low. It must like increase as you get more. We can afford no more delays. And uh, now we're coming up to the second boss, which is uh, Masty the Nightmare. Which is no, it's the easiest boss of all time. <laughs> yeah, except it's not. <laughs> no, no I'm, I'm lying. Don't listen to me. <laughs> But there is a pretty like good, like, pretty good setup to do the, the trick slash fight. Yeah, and I will try to do it, but uh, I won't really be able to explain it. But uh, basically, we will doing a lot of block roll. Yeah, like, you need to do... The, the opener is just to do as much damage as possible before the next phase starts. And you do that with, like, block roll, vault attacks, because they all do a lot of damage. And then once you get close to the next phase starting, you need to just continue using block roll attacks because that delays the phase from actually starting. And also side rolls don't start it. So you, we use slow-mo to just kind of keep chaining those. And ideally you can chain three slow-mos and do all the block roll hits that you need to do. But if you run out, then you need to like do a backup with side roll attacks and stuff, which is not that bad. But yeah, you just you need to do 20 hits, and then you can just start the final phase where you actually do the mashing, and then kill her before she jumps away. And this is the skip here. Oh wow, it failed. <laughs> That's really funny. That, that was a really time. slow yeah, fight. She blocked me, unfortunately, like a lot at the end. But uh, you know what can happen, like uh, yeah. When going into this boss, you're ready to lose 15, 15 seconds in general. The attacks that she decides to block vary a lot. Kinda weird. And now I attack her a lot. And I trigger the end. Yeah, that Dude, skip. That like small skip I did a second ago. Like works like almost every time for me, but of course that time it decided to fail. But it, it worked It worked the second try. <laughs> Uh, and it's working like 1 out of 10 for me Yeah, you know? for some reason it doesn't work for a racer uh. Oh, also, I was so close, like, I got a 1 minute 40 Masty Dude, someone is so free <laughs> Someone in all powers <laughs> Like, 2 years ago we were like, oh my god, someone Masty is not possible in any percent No, it's someone in all powers one day. That's insane. Uh, definitely. I really expected quite a bit more from you. On the island of time, you were so focused, so dedicated, so selfish. So yeah. Nonsense. You were simply trying to protect what I died. Where's the harm in that? Finally, you get a death. All of this destruction. <laughs> yeah. Except it's but intended. It's a strat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna get. I, I I'm, guess I'm gonna get the same death. Power, 
Yeah, probably in all powers you can make it without it. But uh, I won't try my luck honestly with this game. Yeah, I guess if you, if you do have like a little bit of extra time with the health, maybe you can. I've, ne I've never tried. Yeah, same. But uh, basically, like just dying lets you respawn closer to the gate. And uh, it's easier for the, your send management, so it's overall like 2 seconds faster, 2 to 3 seconds faster. But uh, just moving is uh, the same time. Like moving uh, to the door is the same time than dying, so. Yeah, I'm definitely thinking it's doable. No. Yeah? Should I go for it right now? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, sure, if you want to lose like 40 seconds. I mean, uh, why not at this point? This run has been so bad. Yeah, but uh, you can still catch up if I crash. <laughs> True. But no, I'm not gonna go for it. Just do the regular thing. I like the Death Abuse. <laughs> also, that in me, it's me, that's like the first time in uh, more than a year. So oh, that's funny, except it's not. I am you. Normally I can avoid them like this. But, oh my god, game! Yeah, sometimes um, breaking stuff is hard, apparently. So here, yeah, I have to go back to normal prints, unfortunately. Uh, because uh, we have... Um, uh, a life upgrade coming up, like in uh, in 10 minutes or so, and uh, you can take the life upgrade as the Dark Prince, but in any percent NMT we just uh, avoid going back to uh, Dark Ooh. Prince, and it's really cold. So go check any percent NMG. <laughs> And I'm not, I'm not telling you this because I got one record like uh, a week ago. <laughs> oh, okay, that's fine. Oh, you were probably doing Masty? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll do a couple more. Yeah, I, uh, I, I did one. Uh, one more, just in case, because you know it's a marathon. Yeah. She she knocked me down at like a really bad spot that usually doesn't happen, but that kind of messed up the whole fight after that point. Yeah, so I guess we got like uh, the same fight, like time-wise, probably. Yeah, yeah, so I'm, I'm ahead by... Uh, well, I will tell you after this split, but I have my split like... Uh, on the corner, and uh, after the last sun gate, I was 51 seconds ahead. But, uh, how can I say? That doesn't mean anything because this game can crash everywhere. Like, uh, when was it? Uh, yeah, last week, it just crashed randomly when I was walking uh, into a corridor. For no reason, the, the game just closed. So we have safety save, don't worry. Yeah, there's one spot in the run where the game has crashed for me one time, like my years of playing it. <laughs> so, like, it's really weird. It can just crash at, like, random spots. Uh, so, I just lost a lot of time. Well, a lot of time, five seconds. And now that's, like, three more, I guess. I think your definition of a lot is a bit off. <laughs> well, I can clean my sand from here if you are cold enough. I need a good strat for this, for here. Come on. Well, you did lie to her. No, I simply. Yes, but she would not understand. So here I can just. Throw him off and he dies. His secret cells have been revealed, and Sarah. Yeah, now I'm 179. For your information, Sam. Perhaps you should have been honest from the beginning. Too late. I was a minute ahead of my PB at one point, just surprising given my awful dagger. But now, <laughs> now I'm behind. <laughs> yeah. So basically, my PB is 208. His PB is 210. 
But uh, as we said before, this category is still not optimized. Wow, nice uh, cutscene cut. A uh, camera cut. Hey, one thing to note about the, the chains, like, there's actually a glitch you can do with the chains that's not allowed. So you have to kind of like route out when you stop slow mo. Because if you stop it at the wrong spot, you might get a glitch that you're not allowed to do. <laughs> so it just shows how glitchy this game can be. Yeah, so sometimes it's really hard to avoid it. Yeah. Like, uh, basically, I, at one point, I'm losing 3 seconds because I let the slow mo con continuing just to avoid it. Yeah, I have spots where I always, uh, I have it routed where I can release to not lose time. Oh, stop jumping off the wall, friend. Yeah, basically we will skip this entire section by landing on this collision here. It's really cool, but unfortunately it doesn't spawn the guard and if the guard uh, doesn't spawn, you can't uh, get the sun gate. So we will have to make uh, the guard spawn. At this spot, I don't think I don't think you said this, but in any percent NMG, you would actually stay the Dark Prince. You would just do this uh, skip right I, here. Oh, I did uh, say it. Oh, you did say it? Okay. Okay, so you die from here. Ah, good to know. Okay, so uh, I'm, discovery, I'm discovering a lot of stuff and I forgot to slow move. Okay, still got it. I was probably doing Mahasti when you said that. Did pay attention? <laughs> Seriously, eat me. Why should I believe you? So yeah, I was on good pace for this segment, but no, I lost two seconds. <laughs> nice. Oh, never mind. Oh my God! Can I like focus? But I came back. I came back. To you. You are a prince. Oh yeah, same thing here. There is like a little bit of collision because of this door. So I can just do this. You do so alone. And yeah, I get cut by the enemies. I didn't want to wall run game. I hate this game. So I will probably be like only one mi uh, minus one. So, so this is my little pony. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like Cory game like this. Like you're thinking it's a boss and everything, but uh, I will just eat him three times. Luck. Blind luck. Like this. One, two, three. And now. It's my pony. I would often lose myself in the back alleys of the other Prince. Unfortunately, since I'm on a good place, I won't show it to you. Like, uh, you can eat uh, no walls at all during uh, this ride. And then the golem will, um... Oh no, that's bad. Will uh, slow more and I'm dead. Wait, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, game. Don't do this to me. Okay. Oh my god, I have to actually focus right now. Okay, good. Okay, so... <laughs> yeah, I was playing poorly. That's my fault. Well, this is a first for me. The guard activated the sand gate. <laughs> oh, oh! Yeah, I was a little slow trying to do that diagonal jump. So I ended up uh, having to do extra movement and that was enough for the guard to apparently activate the gate. But at least we get to see some cool secondary counters. I've seen cats with raven steel. And then we gotta wait like five years for the sand gate to open. <laughs> it takes forever for the sand gate to be available if the red guard calls for reinforcements. Yeah. So also you just witnesses like the hardest life upgrade ever. You just have to go left. And the uh, slow mo at the end. I lost 12 seconds on this segment. 
<laughs> and I had 5 to save, so which means I lost 17 on goal. The prince was finally forced to accept the fact that Freya was lost to him. I don't think you do this, monkey wall run, but yeah, you can actually just like wall run past that pull. It's not any faster, I don't think, but it looks uh, cool. Yes, uh, well, it depends where, where I start my wall run due to the enemies, to the enemy. Oh no, it's not uh, that, it's not that one. It's before that. Oh. Oh yeah, okay. So no, I don't do it. Like uh, the one just after the fountain, right? Yeah. Yeah, I don't do it. Yeah, I just I think it, I just think it looks. I just think it looks funny, so I always do it. Yeah, it, it does. Right. Oh, I got that other wall run that you were talking about. <laughs> oh my God! Seriously, game. So I'm missing a lot of things. It's all because some of them talk about wall records. <laughs> Having to find a, a scapegoat. So coming up is a, a dark print section. Uh, it's uh, uh, what can I say? It's a, a hard one, but not that hard compared to the temple one. But there is a glitch panel that can just make you crash. So let's pray. Yeah, that you can. I just jumped directly down to these enemies. I don't think Eraser did that either. Yeah, you need to jump like at a pretty specific point on the panel, otherwise the enemies are not here. But it's the quickest way to get down. I think a true warrior so... other than himself. The dog, why we don't like the dog is, uh, okay, that was a nice glitch. Uh, yeah, I'm stuck. It's because they steal your sense. Okay, I didn't crush, that's good. I mean, it's not really a problem. The main reason I don't like the dogs is because they can't get, like, get in your way from moving or trying to wall run. Oh my god, I don't have a slow-mo for the gate. Whoa. Uh -oh. So since okay. my since my run is bad, I will try and show off this golem thing. If I don't hit any size throughout this ride, the golem slows down incredibly. What can I do? 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 Probably just throw him and try to continually stab him. Uh, hit a side yeah, already. Yeah, we've just on enemies. Okay, let's go. Alright, so I can't show it off, but oh well. At least I went fast. Okay. <laughs> I was able to do one charge attack. Okay, I was able to throw him off. Oh, come on. Don't attack me like this. Okay. Please die. Okay, I finally killed him. Oh my god, that split is terrible. Shame. I'm ashamed that I just got hit by that trap because this is the easiest life upgrade, but I went too fast. <laughs> so I lost 30 seconds. <laughs> wow. Oh my god, and I'm feeling this. Okay. Oh my, that speed just depressed me. Yeah, it's, like it's, it's, I'm it's, literally it's, depressed. <laughs> it's it's weird that life upgrade is so easy because like pretty far in the game, so you would think it would be more difficult. But yeah. 
So now I will be attempting one skip, but I will probably fail because I have only two cents. And I will let Vainiv explain. <laughs> oh, the cutscene skip? Yeah. Yeah, so, like I mentioned earlier, how you got it. at certain points, uh, switches will like take longer once you activate them to actually start the cutscene. You can use that to um, plus. You can use that plus slow mo to actually delay it enough to just avoid it completely. You're not like disabling it or anything. You're just using the game's mechanics, so it's not really a glitch because the cutscene's still there. Like if you go back, it would still trigger, but you're just using the fact that it's delaying it twofold with the game's mechanics, slow-mo, plus just the game's delay with the switch for some reason. And on that switch, it's like really delayed. So it delays like a full second, and if you add slow-mo to that, it delays it enough. Like, you could even like go back and drink from the fountain. That's how long it delays it. <laughs> So yeah, that's basically what I did successfully. So that's good. Nice. And it saves uh, one minute. It's pretty. It's it, it like it's pretty easy, but if you get bad frames, so to speak, when you rewind, it can just fail for not really your fault. And now I'm doing the best puzzle ever. So basically, it's always the same, and uh, all the levels are really far. So it's boring. But as a runner, we can't uh, let our guard down because you can lose a good amount of time just by not paying attention. Oh, I'm getting hit a lot here. Like for example, if I don't grab the ladder at the correct angle, stuff like that. All right, didn't crash. I'm gonna fill up on sand here since I lost a lot. So that puzzle is basically uh, getting the statue to the end. Ah, uh, what the hell? Okay. By uh, pivoting him, it like rotating it more exactly. So uh, nothing too much to talk. Just have to jump when you can, stuff like that. I'm not sure what happened there. I pressed uh, the rewind button to try and slow mo, but the game just didn't want to, so I had to kill the enemies there. <laughs> Uh, that can happen because you know T T T. Yeah, <laughs> I could have rewound to like try again, but if I just decided to kill them, you can kill them pretty quickly because the Dark Prince is overpowered. Or not over; he's just really strong. That's how it's supposed to be. Ah. Move back, lover. Don't do like uh, the day before yesterday. Okay, good. Which it would be yesterday actually for you. Hopefully I can do this gate well. I do a different strat than Eraser does, although I think he just did a backup strat because he didn't have stand. Yeah. Yeah, I do this sort of combo to kill these heavy guards. So, again. see, right there, I, I just lost like a few seconds because I failed my jump. That's all. That's all precise this puzzle uh, is. Uh, you have to jump as soon as possible, but not too much. Let's just break this just in case, no sense. Yeah, you see with like that combo strat with the enemy, it's all about the side roll attack because they do a lot of damage. And then I do the vault and the counter, which is like every, every damage type that does a lot of damage in the game pretty much. So I'm just finishing up uh, the puzzle, so after a 3 minutes boring puzzle, guess what it is? An auto-scroller. Great game, great part of the game. Alright, time to try this cutscene skip. Okay, good luck. So basically everything a runner hates, like a boring puzzle and an auto-scroller. So don't hesitate to donate, like uh, just remember, we're here for Go Rescue, that helps uh, homeless dog. Even if the goal is already uh, rich, donate, it's uh, more money is always 
better and there is still a lot of uh, incentive that you can uh, fulfill so yeah definitely don't hesitate to donate even if it's two dollars five dollars or so yeah yeah so i got the skip nice i thought i was almost gonna trigger the cutscene because my movement after was really slow <laughs> <laughs> If you if you wait too long, the cutscene will start anyway. Yeah, because uh, as Vainu said before, it's only delaying the cutscene because of the slow-mo. Yeah. So puzzle auto scroller. Hmm. What? Two of the things that speedrunner doesn't like. Guess what is the first thing? Like, um, what could speedrunner dislike? And you will have the answer really soon. How about now? Because, oh, someone and a cutscene. And a cutscene for a boss. So this is twins, because yes, there is two boss. Basically I have to attack the sword guy for the axe guy, guy to attack me and then I can finally attack uh, the axe guy. So there is two phases and I will try to do them good, but uh, it can be really tricky. Okay, the first one is pretty consistent. Oops. Yeah, I just said that and the prince just target the, the, the sword guy. Great. So now I have no sand. That's great. And uh, the second one is not consistent. <laughs> and I got a good second phase. Okay. What's... Uh but uh, this game wonders. <laughs> yeah, screw this fight. <laughs> Slank the Seraph, you're right. Uh, basically, since we are on, we are on easy mode, it's uh, like this strat is working. We have a charge attack and uh, everything. But uh, when I was starting this uh, game, and uh, any percent NMG world record was still at 212, but since there are a lot of people fronting. Uh, this fight was a nightmare, and uh, I lost the world record run to that, to that fight, and I got so mad, I, sp I, sp I spent an entire morning just doing this fight to find consistent strats. <laughs> Talk yeah. about uh, a sore loser. <laughs> and for, me, for me at least, it's still not like perfectly consistent, it depends what the sword guy no. does. Yeah, exactly, like that's not consistent, but currently that's the best we have. But uh, if you have any uh, any idea, <laughs> we will take it, honestly. Oh my god, I got so worried there. I thought I was going to die. Oh, heart attack. I thought I was going to die, like at the end of the puzzle. Because I, I went to jump, but the uh, switch lever thing pushed the jump and almost made me jump to my death. And plus... Oh, yeah. And plus, the rewind timer was reset, so if I didn't, I had just enough time to rewind back. <laughs> okay, good. I didn't softlock there. Sometimes you can softlock because the enemy won't fall down, like the last four. So it's good they did. Also, Slain, I did uh, a run. Well, not really a run, I was a kid, so you know. Like in hard mode, without uh, taking any life upgrade or sun gates, that was not mandatory. And uh, yeah, twins were just... Uh, I think I spent like two hours on them. So coming up is elevator. There is a really, really cool skip. What we can do in any person. But unfortunately, this is all powers and we have a life upgrade there. So, no skip for you. Sorry.
but yeah, I will still explain uh, what uh, the skip is because it's awesome in my opinion. Basically, there is an elevator and uh, you will move it twice. But by using slow mo, you can delay it. Uh, I will show. Well, I, I want slow mo, but uh, like right here. This lever just activates uh, the elevator, so you slow mo there to get on top of the elevator, and then you can hit the trigger by doing some wall jump to the next area. It's yeah. so crazy, it's so cool, honestly. Yeah, kind of goes along with the whole, like, with the cutscene, puzzle cutscene skip. The fact that slow mo just delays everything in this game. So it, it delays the elevator so you can catch it. So, yeah, earlier we talked about sun power. All right. I and I will admit, finally use I them not that. to kill these two ninja ladies. Did you, did you mention why we oh. activate and deactivate slow mo at the start of twins? <laughs> uh, no, I didn't. <laughs> Yeah, there's this weird thing that can happen with the axe dude. If you don't do that, then sometimes, or like most of the time, he'll just be like incredibly slow. And I think it's to do with using slow-mo earlier in the game for that cutscene skip. But yeah, so we just uh, we just activate and deactivate to prevent that. Uh, my fight went bad. Well, more than uh, slow-mo, I think it's uh, rewind, like... Uh... Because in um, in any percent zipless, it also does that. But you're using slow mo like everywhere in any percent zipless, like for the boost and stuff. Yeah, true. But oh my yeah. god, I'm feeling this. Whatever reason, it's, we just have to activate and deactivate slow mo. Fuck oh, off. Cool. I'm bad. <laughs> it seems I chose the right moment to return. Oh yeah, Thank I failed like the last you trap in the uh, Life of Get 5. Oh. It hasn't oh, happened in a while, but uh, eh, you know. Oh yeah, here, I will have to wait for this door to open, because if I hit this door while it's opening, I can just die. Okay, good. <laughs> like, it's really funny, honestly. Yeah, I'm using slow-mo, but just for safety. I, I can make this cycle without slow mo, but it's um, it's dangerous. So since I have sense, I have to like there is no way I won't use it. So elevator skips, uh, elevator skip skips all this section, but uh, we can still do a little skip here by jumping directly into the cutscene. So, for this fight, my general strat is to use the primary-secondary combo when there's one of the dancing enemies. But I'll use the, um, it's like secondary, two secondary, two primary, and repeat for the heavy enemies. I find that consistently kills them, especially for this phase, because there's so many. Like, if it goes correctly, and it didn't, because I got uh, attacked, but if it goes smoothly you just kill them all with that combo. What the heck is wrong with his arm? Well, you don't like it? It's like a tattoo but in 3D. <laughs> Alright, so I have two stands I think, so I will be able to use another sun power here. And that's basically it's uh, like uh, it's um, it's the only two time we are using uh, them. I actually used it a third time. Well, you're a cheater. I used the next sand power, which looks exactly the same, but it cost four sand instead of two. And yeah, that's it does more damage, but it's kind of pointless because you have a sword that kills everything at that point. Lift will bring us to the throne room, but wonder of wonders, it seems to have stopped working. I will try and return it to life. 
I do hope to visit Azad someday. We actually learned that recently. I originally thought it, it was like broken, the power, because it wouldn't work. But I did some digging and I realized it's a it's a different power that's activated the same way and you can't use the old power anymore. And it uses double the sand. Oh, I wanted to safety fall there just for you, but I totally forgot. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> I'm doing some safety falls here to the poles. I'm sorry. Oh. People, can get, I'm people sorry. can get their safety fall fixed. I never apologized for the way I acted. Oh my god, I will miss a cycle now. Perfect. Like, uh, the game didn't regi register my jump for whatever reason. That can happen sometimes. Like, uh, probably I pressed jump like. Uh, a little too early, like a few frames too early. Oh wow, okay. And so this can happen. Here I'm taking sand because as we said, if we have zero or one sand, You're we're just getting sand every time. And I will need sand for the last sand get already. Sorry. It's sand get number nine. Because there is nine sand get and six life upgrade. The last uh, life, life upgrade is uh, quite far away, so... I actually got interrupted when I was trying to use the power there by the enemy, that was kind of funny. Oh. That sucks. I don't <laughs> think... Even know it, was possible. it must not have used more sand though, because I have... I still have five. Or wait, is it five? <laughs> no, four. Okay, so I tried to hit the enemy twice, but uh, the game didn't want to. But uh, it's okay. I will just slow move there and slow move there. I'm a little bit both dead. Yes. Okay, so here I will try Vanive's method, even though it's not working for me. I want to see this. I don't understand how it can't work. <laughs> okay, I got a weird attack, so I don't know. I will just improvise, I guess. Wait a little bit. Okay, I got it. Improvisation is uh, nice. Is nice. Come on, move, Prince. I've seen. Oh, I'm a retard! What is your thing, okay, let's Apollo? go back here. Apollo? What happened? The question? Like, you know the two saw blade uh, before uh, off board? Yeah. What is the point of uh, I didn't uh, go down uh, like uh, enough, so I got it by the first one, I and I had to revive oh, okay. it. Oh, I just saw it, yeah. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's ridiculous! <laughs> Did you do the new strat at least <laughs> after that? Let's see. No, uh, no, I totally <laughs> forgot. My uh, like I was too. You were too, yeah. Uh, you know, like when you fail something easy. Yeah. Hopefully, I can show it off. Yeah. Because I, I, li I literally found that like right before we started. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and same with the last life upgrade strat. <laughs> it is the heart of the hanging gardens. Oh yeah, I, I have to remember to go for that. Regulating and running everything. running is always evolving. <laughs> and that's why it's good. Like, as I said, uh, before, like two years ago, any person NMG was like two hours, twelve something. And now we are... Uh, like, the world record for all powers is less than this. World record for any person NMG is 149. Twelve, I think. So, you know, that's, uh, that's really cool. And that's why speedrunning is uh, interesting. This, meeting cool people, and uh, also uh, sharing information. Yeah. Like, uh, every time we find something new, it's not like, oh, I will do a run with this and get world record. No, it's like, you share it with people, then you do your run to get world record. <laughs> yeah. 
and that's really interesting, and that's why uh, it's always I fun. love speedrunning. It's always yeah. fun breaking games with cool people. Totally. All right, so now we do yeah. some awesome safety falls to dagger panels, and then, <laughs> and, then and then fail a casual wall run after. That was cool. <laughs> but what I was trying Classic. to what I was trying to do there is stop it a bit early, so I would skip the stagger animation, but I stopped it a bit too early, too early and just died. Yeah. Uh, Classic. Pro probably can't make that cycle. If I notice uh, if I notice that cycle a bit earlier, I would have slow mode. But oh well. But yeah, like if you if you ever like want to um, to speed run, but you're not sure, you're a little scared or anything. Most of the community are really nice. Yeah. So yeah, don't hesitate. Like, like uh, I see, I always see so many questions from like various communities saying like I want to speed run, but I don't know the best way to start. And like the an literal answer is just start. Like there's no like way to do it. Just start. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. When I start speed running, I stream like a uh, send off time for one viewer on, on Twitch. And uh, it was uh, someone who was also learning the run. Oh, nice. <laughs> and uh, this guy called Enejo just started a Skype group with five people and me on it to talk about things. It was like a few years ago. And now we have a Discord with a lot of people and an awesome community. So, you know, even if your game doesn't have a huge community or thing like this, don't hesitate. Just go for it. Yeah. When I first started speedrunning, I was just streaming and then I got like loads of cool people coming in just helping me out to figure out, to tell me like the different strats that are in the game and helping me with various things. It's a great community. Yeah. It took my girl. Yeah, actually, I would want him to keep her. Oh, oops. So, like, I would even give him money if he can keep Farah. I'm not even kidding. Like, just give me his bank account. I will, uh, I'll give him a lot of money. So this is the strat here that Eraser forgot to do. I'm gonna slow mo here, and hopefully wall run over this. There we go. Then you can get through that those traps like without stopping yeah but since i felt something pretty easy just before i was uh <laughs> i totally forgot about it yeah probably doesn't save that much time maybe like a couple seconds uh, i slow more late so the enemy spawn unfortunately Come on, jump. So this dark print section is hard because it's really long. But uh, it's not that hard once on on you're used to it. Just have to play correctly. Like for example, I slow more late, so it's my fault. In any percent, I would have to rewind that or take a stand. Because I wouldn't have enough health, but normally I would have barely enough health here. Well, HP because I can't pronounce this, I know. And I got it because the first water run was really bad. I like to and do to these wait, jumps yeah. here during the puzzle, which is probably not a good idea because the rewind timer resets. So if I fail, I might just die. <laughs> but I can get them every time, and my preferred way to do the puzzle. Okay, I try that in practice and it works. Stupid game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm getting pissed off a little, sorry. <laughs> uh, understandable, you're on a good run, so... Uh, m more than getting on a good run, it's just like... When things should work, I expect them to work, you know? Yeah. I'm not even taking a risk, like... I tried it and it worked. Yeah. Multiple times. In a marathon setting, I usually just find it funny. But if I was on like a decent run, I'd probably be mad. Yeah. 
Uh, my run was dead at daggers. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, classic T T T. But I, I am six seconds ahead of my PB right now, so could be a PB. <laughs> yeah. Let's go by Niv. That would be pretty. Come on, that would be pretty cool to run against a 10:30 dagger. Oh my God, the dream. Yeah. The prince was cast Start every run like two minutes ahead. Of darkness, robbed of Thera, distanced from the vizier. He had so no basically, in my cutscene, well. our favor is dead. Rip dead. Ah, 2003-2005. The Racer, don't talk in chat. Focus on your good <laughs> runs. <laughs> what? I, I'm in a cutscene. <laughs> oh, okay, that's fine. You know that uh, that's cutscene. So right now, I'm taking uh, like uh, the sword I just uh, grabbed is a secondary, and it can break. Uh, it can kill enemies um, in one hit. And it uh, emits light, so I will be able to see in darkness. So I won't lose my way in darkness. You, yeah, you won't, right get, by won't get lost like I do. Yeah, <laughs> because like in any percent, uh, <laughs> like a normal any percent, so with uh, every glitch, you don't have uh, this world. And uh, Vainiv got lost for one minute something. Yeah, it was, I an, think. It was an old world record. Yeah, I got lost yeah. and wasted like a minute. It was probably like the biggest time loss in the whole run. Pretty funny. Oh, seriously? Okay, this game is kidding me. The first person cancel I did earlier, by the way, is probably my favorite one that I use. Because you can just like first person straight into a wall run. Looks pretty cool. Can you stop first person everywhere? No, I gotta like first I, person cancel. Like I'm not even. I think I did. I did it once in this run. So it's the hot new speed tech. <laughs> I thought the hot new speed tech was to all the action. To all the button, like buffering inputs. Oh no, I've been doing that since I started playing. I'm surprised people did never use that. So even if we have light here, we don't really need to see. So I won't turn the camera. Uh, oh yeah, something we forgot to mention. I'm playing on, on controller and Vainiv on keyboard and mouse. <laughs> I was about to say keyboard and mouse is superior, but I can't really back that up with this run, so never mind. <laughs> Time is precious. But no, so, it's, it's just yeah. it's just personal preference. Yeah, there's something that's harder, something that's easier. So it exactly doesn't yeah. really. Matter. A lot of things are harder on uh, on keyboard, but uh, a lot of things are also easier. So yeah. Also, I just did a skip, but uh, saves a lot of time. Actually, I don't even know. I can't do this area normally anymore. What, what skip? Uh, that was the first one. You know, just after darkness. Oh yeah, yeah. And uh, now we'll go on to the second one. What I would, what I failed a lot lately. So. Oh. Yeah, the end game for this is pretty cool because there's a lot of uh, skips that you can do. Ah, oh, I got the angle while on uh, the angle. Uh, Even after everything you have experienced, angle jump. Unfortunate. This can happen if you if your jump is uh What now? I won't say frame perfect, but uh, yeah, close to it. Because I don't like to say frame perfect when I don't have uh, evidence to back it up. Yeah. The only thing that I can like confidently say is frame perfect is probably the cutscene. Well, pretty confident thing. But I can't believe I'm I'm uh, I'm from per I can eat a frame perfect input so so often. 
So yeah, that's just why like, I'm yeah, I just feel like I have a pretty good feel when things are frame perfect because of other games that I speedrun. So like, I can tell the difference between like 60 FPS if it's like two or one or two. But obviously, we can't know unless we actually like investigate it. Yeah. I just got the perfect trap corridor, uh, you know, just before kitchen. <laughs> nice. So this area is kitchen. And uh, we skip it like this. <laughs> yeah, this is the spot where I use that other power. Um, yeah, I think it's a bit faster than like killing them normally. Yeah, probably because yeah. you're using slow-mo to kill him normally. I was a little too fast, so uh, I have I'm to surprised that didn't. On I don't know why that didn't work the first time, but all good. So we're coming up to the final section of the game before the final boss, which is the tower. There is three parts of it, and uh, it's really long. <laughs> Yeah, and there is the last uh, life upgrade uh, in the middle tower. Yeah, this whole like end game is the same. There's no like powers except for that one life upgrade. But there is still skip. Like I will do one right there by turning around here and releasing the pole. I can grab that edge. And the camera turned here like this for the first time ever. Nice. So normally you have to move a box here, but it's uh, really slow. So Vainif talked about it uh, before because he, he used it. But uh, we will do a 360 beam, which lets you uh, jump in uh, every direction out of a beam. Like if you're on, uh, on the edge of one. Oh, see Daisy. Come on, come on. Like for example, at one point here, I would have been able to do a 360 beam because uh, the prince was really angry. And uh, yeah, so I'm setting it up. Okay, game. Okay, a second try. I won't complain, like I'm playing really badly right now. I don't think it's a nerve, it's just uh, this can happen sometimes. Here I won't jump directly out of that bar because uh, as you can see the world isn't straight. So sometimes you don't make it to the next bar and just fall down. One thing we didn't mention about the switches you pull, I don't think we did at least, is you can like usually buffer an input after it. There, just buffered like a fall down, so I don't need to do it after the cutscene. And you did it. We did it like every time during the puzzle, the big puzzle. Has to do with again like the thing where the game like waits a little bit before starting the cutscene. I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> Instead of jump, I press attack on a, on a panel. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> that was not pretty. <laughs> That's painful. <laughs> yeah, I had to rewind that. I get to do these traps with no sand. Do this. Oh, uh, go get some sand. Like, I always get uh, sand here. Yeah, I don't need sand. Well, act because actually, like taking uh, taking sand here, uh, just set up the the trap to a perfect cycle. That's why I'm uh, taking them every time. So this is why we don't want to we don't want to we don't want to move a box in the in the first uh, in the small tower. As you can see, it's slow, it's awkward, 
You can get stuck uh, at a lot of place. Oh yeah, that's really not good. I think you do the old uh, skip for the kitchen, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, that, that one's like slightly faster, I think. Just like two ways of skipping that area. It's kind of funny. No. Okay. It's only, yeah, fast. It it's only faster because you don't need to like backtrack any for a load trigger. You just go directly to yeah. the load trigger. But you still have to travel that distance, so... Yeah, but you don't need to go there and back, but yeah. Well, when I timed it, it was like slightly faster, but probably the same. I guess it's all depend like on yeah. your uh, on your skip. It's if it's re if yeah. it's really fast. And you're not like bouncing between a couple walls. It's just a wall run, and then you're up there. So. All right. Nice. I have six cents. I think it's the first time I will be coming to life upgrade six with all my sons. If I don't use one right now. Don't forget the new strat. Yeah, I will try. It's not like I just did it like four times or, fi or five times. There, there is no try, only do. <laughs> or do not. <laughs> Got to kill that enemy. But what if I do and fail? <laughs> But yeah, th this is the area I was talking about, like way at the beginning of the game, where you kind of do a 360 beam, but it's not. Too fast. It's not on the uh, edge of a beam. It's just right there. So like, not a glitch. <laughs> just slightly faster movement to get over here. So I was too fast, and I hit the the saw blade. So I had to do it normally, unfortunately. Uh -huh. Like I rewind and uh, did it normally. Hopefully I can throw it off. Yeah. Pretty, oh. It's pretty cool because like you don't need to wait at all. It's just like keep going really smooth. Yeah, basically that's what I did, but uh, a little slower. <laughs> like at the end, just to not eat the, the saw blade that I ate. Right. Uh, Prince, okay. So hopefully I have enough, enough sense now. Okay, at least I'm on a good cycle here. Which doesn't occur often. So I will have to wait now. Okay, I got it, but I don't care. Like, usually I have less HP than this, so... <laughs> because I'm running any percent. Also, I just saw that the timer on the... Um, on the stream is wrong compared to the timer we are using. Yeah, it's probably a bit, it's a bit it off. Started. Yeah, probably because it started uh, uh, earlier. But yeah. uh, don't worry, I will tell you the, um, the final time. I... Yes. If, yeah, if I, ha I have my place. splits on too. So here I use slow mo because that ninja ladies don't let you go up. Like ever. <laughs> I won't use slow mo. <laughs> yeah, but uh, you will manipulate her. So, yeah. You know, but yeah, but, the same idea. Yeah, that whole area is stupid for a variety of reasons. That that enemy is one, yeah. and then the yeah. lovely panel, <laughs> or yeah, the jump panel. Like, and we are not talking speedrunning wise. We're talking yeah. like casual wise. Like, there's this panel that you're probably close to by now. Yeah, I'm just uh, putting the box in the. Where, where it belongs. So I will be there like in 30 seconds or more or less. Not sure. So basically there is a dagger panel. And uh, a jump panel. 
And the uh, boss are great chart. Oh my god, Prince. So if I don't uh, send you to the correct position, so we had to find the strike, and unfortunately it didn't work. <laughs> Okay, second try. And second try is actually good. And that's just normal gameplay. Good job, yeah, like that's just normal oh gameplay God. that we need an actual but, strat yeah. for. But that wasn't normal gameplay, but was just here the game being stupid. By uh, blocking me and not allowing me to roll. Nice game. So here I will try something called Asco Jump. Alright, so hopefully I can get this life upgrade strat oh. that we were talking about. Come on! Wall run like here. I jump to okay. time the traps. And you can get there through there without stopping at all. It's pretty pretty nice. Slow mo here. And then oh I messed up at the very end. <laughs> <laughs> I got the I got like the the new part, but I got hit by the traps at the end. Oh, then it's okay, like it's. Uh... Yeah, I still showed off the new thing. <laughs> yeah. And me, I uh, got Asco jump like a third try, which is bad. Yeah, I probably would. I would stop going for it at this at that point. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Like, third try is probably um, around the same time. Uh, I would have take to to do the normal way, so it's okay. Another cool skip, and it's probably like the last one. Well, not the last, really last one, but the last one. Yeah, the last in one is in, of the game. is in mental room. Yeah. But uh, mental room doesn't count. It's a developer being on drugs. <laughs> So I'm approaching uh, Vizier, which is the final boss. Basically, it's um, there is uh, three phases. The first one is uh, normal combat. The second one is a quick time event, and the first the third one is uh, platforming. But good thing is you can just uh, infinite combo him. Uh, just by uh, attacking him uh, like um, in a um, in a row. I don't know how to say it properly. Uh, sorry, but uh, you will just see. Like, uh, yeah. yeah. You can just keep using the secondary sword, and you don't need to. But I I do animation cancels. I don't think you do. Yeah, like but. I need to animation cancel, but I don't. Yeah, I just do it to go a bit faster, but it really doesn't. Save anytime. <laughs> so let's see. I saw I started the cutscene at, at sub 2, so that's good. So 1, 2, 3, nice. 4, okay. 5. Really good time. Oh, oh. Uh, also, I'm uh, manipulating him to not go uh, close to a border. Or else he can be stuck. Like, uh, it won't start like uh, this phase, where you uh, go into the air, and I didn't want to block roll, but uh, it's okay. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and now I just need 4. So yeah, like, uh, the roll I'm doing uh, under him to manipulate his, uh, his movement. And 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, almost perfect first phase. Like, uh, I took some time to eat him at one point, but it's okay. So here it's just uh, three, um, three quick time event that you have to do three times. While uh, avoiding uh, the block. But uh, the pattern is uh, set. So it's not that hard. Uh, that hard. I, uh, I also got the glitched panel second try. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I was actually kind of worried. In my first D-Rust run, I lost the entire run to that panel. 
<laughs> so now I'm, I'm going on to uh, the platforming section where the vizier will just uh, shoot at me some bubble air, I guess? Like uh, he thinks he's in Mega Man or, so, or something like this. Nice. Just turn around quickly and jump. So apparently this is not the normal way to do it, but this is the only way I know how to do uh, this platforming section. But apparently there is a wall running section or so, like... Uh, oh my god. Uh, that jump is tricky, like to do fast. Because of the camera and stuff. Like I tried, but uh, failed as you were able to see. Here is where you often get a 360 beam without wanting to. And now there is an epic slow motion. Dude, that might be uh, a 205 actually. It will be close. Pretty good, right? Yeah, it will be really close. Like it will, like it depends on uh, on the mental room. Because yeah, this is not time. Yeah, there's still another section. Yeah. Well, basically, you fight your inner uh, fiend. I don't know. You can say demon in English. Uh, yeah, like the you're fighting the dark prince here, the like yeah. hallucination from the stand in the prince's brain. That's why it's called the mental room. Ah. Because basically, like, uh, what is wrong is in your head. Yeah. The corruption from the stand. It's all what is bad is in you, like uh, what you want to do, your egoism, stuff like this. But I had seen the timeline. I get to hear the. I actually like the dialogue in that section. Yeah, the dialogue are pretty good. So you will probably hear them since uh, Vainish game is in English, mine is in French. Because why not? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, that's when I always jump too early, like it's really hard to time. The, the whole area gives like a throwback to the previous two games too, you see like the boat from uh, Warrior Within and also like the life upgrade room from Sands of Time. Yeah, the only one that we don't see is the Forgotten Sand. Yeah, well that's because not, you that know. was after this game. <laughs> yeah, but time wise it's before. <laughs> yeah, it's true, but it's not how game development works. <laughs> oh yeah? Huh. Oh. <laughs> Usually I guess, but I don't know. Yeah, I thought it was a cool thing to put in. Honestly, the first time I I, uh, I arrived to this room, I was like, okay, is my game glitch? <laughs> is my game dead? There's actually like more skips you can do in that room too. I'll probably go for yeah, them. But... I'll probably go for them since this run is crap and I already lost. Yeah. The only skip I do is this one. They probably save like, like frames <laughs> if you do them fast enough. Don't do sense, kid. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh my God, that won't be. That will be a two. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. Locking. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I kind of got. So previous world record was 208.22 and we're coming up on time soon and it will be a 205 now 205.55 world record by 2 minutes 26 nice it just goes to show how unoptimized the world record is yeah hitting world record by like 2 minutes wow. in a marathon Pretty yeah but Honestly, it was just a matter of time to get World Record, like, uh, yeah. I did a lot of uh, any percent NMG, so my movement are uh, okay, especially at the start. Like, oh. after Dig after uh, Fortress, happened? I'm uh, I'm playing, like, good. I'm playing really good, I think. So, yeah, like, two minutes of this is because of new skip that weren't in it before. And uh, the 26 seconds, well, I wouldn't even say that 30 seconds, are just because I got better at the game. So that's cool. That's really cool. 
kind of worried I'm gonna die in this fight now. I messed up like the final C kill. I have zero sand now. Oh, Play. nice. <laughs> that will be legendary. On I didn't get hit at that point, so I should be fine. That's like the only point doing that small skip. That's like super dangerous to get hit at. Ooh, I just got a 360 beam and almost died. <laughs> yeah, that's, you that's can. A, that's exactly what what uh, Eraser was talking yeah. about. Yeah, you <laughs> can definitely die on that one. Yeah, I actually like bonked on the last platform and then grabbed it. Kind of scary. Yeah. So while Vaniv is finishing, I will just show you like uh, what zipping is, like the most uh, used glitch in. Um, in the Prince of Persia Sense Trilogy running. Oh, so Maybe show off the so uh, um, ladder, ele ladder elevator. <laughs> yeah, I would try. Yeah. All you gotta do is just like jump off, zip it, and then rewind back again. So basically, I just jump, do a lot of inputs, which are like going forward, and rewind, so that just overloads, okay I didn't send on this, never mind, that just uh, overloads um, the, um, the rewind memory, like uh, where the game stuck inputs, and it just amplify every one of your actions, like, let's do it like this, I will do a jump, I could do it like this, a jump, a block roll, and some steps like this, and you will just see it. And you can go through every collision like this. Yeah, and it also hits load triggers, so it's like super fast. Let's see. I think it's one roll for that one. Like I'm really bad at it. So if I'm failing stuff like this, it's normal. I really thought my knee would finish first, so it would be better. Yeah, okay, I got through it fair and died, unfortunately. I, I went too far. But yeah, that's what uh, zipping is. So it's... Um, it's over cheated. <laughs> Like it's just too strong and uh, it's uh, it's the best zip like to go really fast and that's why we created the zipless category. Yeah, the, the tricks you use for that are really cool as well. You use like the menu a lot and drop glitches. And also this trick called storage which is really confusing. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't show them to you right now but... Uh, but Plenty stupid. So some uh, movement tech here. I don't. I'm not sure if you do this or not, but you can do like attacks in this final area, the mental room, to gain like a bit of distance. Yeah, I do. Yeah. And that the extra skips I was talking about. I tried to go for the first one, but those like slow mo sections, you can actually um jump around them, to save like a very very small amount of time. But yeah, uh, time is coming up here. Uh, small question and for the ladder. Time. So I, I, I have to go down and zip, right? right yeah, here. so just like, fly down and jump, and then zip yeah. that, and then like wait a couple seconds, and then uh, rewind again, and you should get it. <laughs> Actually, I got it directly. Why? Oh, did you? Oh, okay, I'm, I'm out of bounds, that's why. Like I can see the wall area. Yeah, then the... you need to rewind again. Okay. Hopefully it's not too late. There it is. Never mind. We'll just go down like this. I if I have the save, I can try it. The, the canal. Well, I th I think since we are behind. Uh... I mean, I'm here oh. now. But oh, then okay. Yeah, it's like right here. I can do it right quick. <laughs> like I'm behind the, the ladder. My name will show it to you like a little better, but uh, remember how to do this. At, le at, at least you are able to see like uh, the area from out of bound, and uh, that's really cool. Uh, 
Okay. Oh, there, there we go. Yeah, I got it. I just have to move down and elevator. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Unfortunately, it just stops here because of the collision. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, that's it. We can move on now because we're behind schedule. Hope you enjoyed yeah. the run. Yeah, same. Uh, that was fun. Uh, sorry it wasn't as close, but you know this game is terrible. So, unfortunately, this happened. Uh, Vainiv was pretty close to his PB, I think. Yeah, actually PB by 17 seconds. <laughs> yeah, see? <laughs> so, you got two PB in a row. Yeah, so, world record, so that was world amazing. record in PB. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. But yeah, if you so want to enjoy it. Yeah, if you want to yeah. speedrun, join the Discord, all the usual stuff we say. To speed it up because we're behind. But yeah. Yeah, and right now that will be uh, the Forgotten Sands, still a Prince of Persia, but Sam Abam 14 he is an amazing runner. So watch him. And uh, yeah, don't forget to donate. And uh, that was fun. Thanks everyone for letting us run for this marathon. Likewise. Bye.